Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you the one-to-one -one relationship in the Laravel. So if you put all the Laravel documentation, one-to-one -one here. Okay, so documentation, eloquent RM relationship, and here we have one-to-one. -one. Here we have an example user with a phone. And I have created a video about this, so you can find in my channel, and I'm going to leave it also the link in the description about that video but in this uh, tutorial i'm going to create a relationship a user with the account okay so you can go and check the documentation but also i'm going to explain you in this video so first we need to create the account a model and migration so we need to say php in the terminal php artisan make model and i'm going to give it the name account and also dash m for migration hit enter and it's going to create the model and also the accounts table so let's open the vs code now and modify that migration so in the migrations down there we have the accounts migration and i'm going to say here First, I'm going to add the user ID, the dollar sign table. And I'm going to say for region ID, user ID like this. And let's say constraint. Okay, next one. I'm going to make this user ID unique. So I'm going to say unique here. User ID. And last one, I'm going to add the username. So I'm going to say dot assign table string username, just to have some field. Now, here we added the version user ID, and here we made this one unique. So this account can have, can belong to this user only. Okay, now we need to run the migrate. So I'm going to say PHP artisan migrate fresh i'm going to delete everything from our database good and also create that account stable now if i open the table plus just to show you we don't have data in our database so open the essential and in the users we have empty also in the accounts empty Good. Now I'm going to use the tinker to show you the relationship. So let's come here and say PHP artisan tinker. Good. First, let me create the user. So I'm going to say dollar sign user one. I'm going to say and let create new user. So user model a factory because we have a factory created. With Laravel and let's say create. And this is going to create a random user. Good. Now we have the user. Now let's create the account. And we can create that by saying just user one. We have that user called the account method relationship. But we don't have that, so let's go and create. So let's open the user model. And down there, I'm going to say function uh, account. And now this account is going to return dollar sign this. So this is the user. Now this user as one account okay let's save it and of of course if we go here and in the documentation one to one so here we have the user and here we have the phone but in our case we have the account as one phone in our case this user has one account Okay, now let's open the account 
a model and first create the protected dollar sign fillable for the fields we have and we have the user id and also the username A username like this okay and after that let's create the method so function user and here now we are going to return dollar sign this which means this account is going to belong to the user belong to the user class okay the same thing we can see in the documentation so if we see in the phone we have the method the same so public function user return this belong to the user class so the same we have here public function user return this belong to the user class now we have the relationship let's go and create that account so the assign user one account and let's say create and we need to add here only the username which is going to be the i'm going to say user one user one hit enter and we have user one here username and now the user id is one because the user who created this account is the id is one okay and of course now if i say assign user one and for the account relationship and let's say this account has the username let's call the username here username hit enter and we get that username from here and also if we say the id we can get the id okay you have the idea now now let's create the user uh two and we'll say user two okay user factory and create hit enter we have the user two now i'm going to make the account so let's say account here is going to be now one way is just by saying account call the account model and create static method and here we can say user id to be the user to id so we can say user to id and we have also the username which is going to be user2 i'm going to say and if i hit enter we created that account and of course if i say now just dollar sign user2 call the account the same thing we have done before user account and give it the username we can have that username of course because now we have the account we can say the last sign account and call the user method relationship and give it, give me the name for example for that user and if i hit enter we have the name of this user and of course so we can get also the email so if i say email like this this is one way another way is by just come here and create that user yes now i'm going to say user 3 okay we have that user 3 and also let's get that account so account new account now instead of creating i'm going to say new account hit enter and first i'm going to say dollar sign account uh username 
to be user 3 hit enter and now I'm going to say that assign account we don't have that user ID here okay we don't have that so I'm gonna say account and call the user method relationship and I'm going to say associate and here I'm going to add that user user so account user associate and add the user three here and say save okay let's hit enter we have true and if I say now uh, dollar sign account call the user and give it the name of that user we have this name which is the name we have in the user okay and of course the same thing for the email okay so this is another way how we can ask, uh, create a relationship account with the user here we have by just say create and add here that user we just created before and the most used case uh, is this one so user account and create and just give it the username hope you enjoy friends and see you in the next video if you like a content like this please subscribe to my channel and like the video all the best friends